Good morning. Welcome to King 5 special coverage of the Sounders Championship Parade and Rally. And you can see from this live shot from Sky King, the crowd is up and over Westlake Park about ready for this parade to celebrate the franchise's first ever championship, the MLS Cup. Welcome. I'm Mark Wright along with Chris Egan. Thanks for being with us. Scarves up Seattle. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, Mark. I mean, this is what brings a community together is a championship parade. Thousands are going to flood the streets of Seattle today for this one. I was right here on the desk for the Seahawks parade. I was down there during the Seattle Storm parade. I was a kid for the Sonics parade. And uh, look at the crowd right now, Mark. It's absolutely amazing. And there's Coach Brian Schmetzer. A huge crowd gathered. Let's go to Chris Daniels and Chris Cashman at Ground Central right there. Got Guys, good morning. Yeah, we can hear you. We're right below Brian Schmetzer, the head coach of your Sounders FC, getting the crowd ready to go for this historic march and rally through downtown Seattle to Seattle Center after the Sounders won the MLS Cup on Saturday. Schmetzer, a Seattleite. This has got to be special for him. We are expecting a, a bit of a presentation here momentarily and you will watch it live here on King 5. We'll let the crowd tell the story here in a second, Chris. Here comes the cup. Coach got a chance to shake hands with fans before he got on the trolley, and now listen to him roar. Head coach Brian Schmetzer saying, let's start the march. Joined by team captain Osvaldo Alonso, who has been one of the original Sounders since this MLS franchise kicked off back in 2009, celebrating the first championship. And they're going to jump right onto these trolleys, joined by the Emerald City supporters, and head now towards Seattle Center. We'll be walking along with them. Right, Chris? That's right. This right. is going to be... Uh, an absolute madhouse, but it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to march with them all the way over to Seattle Center. I love it. you, you got to love having the Cashman and Daniels there, the <laughs> double Chris, and uh, how about the chant for Ozzy Alonzo, one of the fan favorites indeed. And, Mark, if you talk about a fan favorite, it doesn't get any bigger than Alan Hinton, who has been with the Sounders pretty much since the 70s. He was a legend with England. He coached the Sounders. He played for the Sounders. He coached the Tacoma Stars. Alan Hinton joins us now, and Alan Hinton, you've got goosebumps over there. I know you're talking to me. It, it doesn't get any better than this, does it, Alan? I, I, absolutely not. I've been here almost 40 years now, and I've got to tell you, this is my best soccer moment because we all wanted, all of us that came in from overseas to build a new life, we really wanted the very big championship to come here to Seattle because the fans are great. We have a big club. You can see the excitement there. I've, I've actually been in four parades in my life and they are fantastic, especially for the children. The children of the, of the players uh, were in Toronto too and they'll never forget that. But it's a marvelous experience. Experience. And of course, Brian Smets is the yeah. local boy. So what more do we want? And take a look at the parade route. If you want to take part or you just want to avoid the traffic, here it is. It's starting at Westlake Park. It's going to go on 4th Avenue. Take a little jog and get over to 5th Avenue as it goes up into the Fisher Lawn area of Seattle Center. So pretty much that whole Westlake to Seattle Center area of downtown Seattle is going to be tied up for a little bit. Alan, what I love about this moment is that this franchise has come full circle. You drafted Coach Smetzer is a player, correct? I, I did. I drafted him. I, uh, I took the job here for uh, in November of '79 in the Kingdom, which were great days. I had some real talent, and when it came to the draft, we drafted uh, Brian Smetzer, who was playing for his father, Walter. Uh, it was a great coach, and uh, we drafted him. And uh, he didn't go to college. And I and you have a son who plays uh, at Gonzaga, so you know 
but I stopped Brian technically from going to college and I felt really bad about it for a long time but just saw his career emerge and grow and now he's the head coach he, he's done it all in this town and he's a local boy he'll be the face of the franchise for years to come yeah Brian Smetzer played for the Lake City Hawks before he began his professional career signed on with the Seattle Sounders back in 1980 took over this team in July as they were off to their worst start in franchise history and then Mark they just started winning and they did not stop they went all the way to the MLS Cup and there it is the big trophy we saw it a couple days ago in Toronto a frigid Saturday Saturday night, if you will, 20 degrees, maybe negative with the wind chill. And I tell you what, it doesn't get any better than that night. But the parade now takes over Seattle as they're getting set to move with the trolleys. And look at that crowd coming to coming coming in in Seattle. <laughs> Chris, take me to that moment. You're on the field in Toronto. Uh, 120 minutes of really hard fought. I mean, that was some bruising soccer that took place. And it goes to PKs here. Take it from here. Well, I think Alan loves this guy right here as he hits the big game winner. And, and <laughs> Alan, what, what a hero for the team right there, well, huh? He's a big guy, but he turns out in the end he has a soft touch. And, and I talked to him at the post-game party, and he said, no problems, coach. <laughs> <laughs> no problems. He took almost no time. He set the ball down and took a step and kicked it. And but it, it was, was a penalty uh, for, yeah. for the best players in the world. I mean, he's a, he's a wonderful man. I mean, this guy was, uh, he's a Panamanian central defender. The Panama national team, even when he was injured, they still took him to Panama. You know why? He's such an inspiration. He was dancing non-stop. He's throwing champagne. He's, he, he, at the post-game party, he was dancing, and he's <laughs> such a happy guy. But would you want to play against him? He might be the I biggest soccer player I've ever seen. And I wouldn't want to play against this guy. Look oh. at Stefan Fry. Fry was absolutely amazing. This may go down as the biggest save of Sounders history, the biggest save of his life. I talked to him after the match and said, tell me about this save. And he says... That's what I'm paid to do. That's what I'm paid to do. I think, I think he's paid. I mean, Alan, you've seen a lot of saves in your time. Does it get much better than that right there? Well, people said to me, how does it compare? Well, in, uh, in the early 70s, Pelé had a header, just like Altidore, and the England goalkeeper in the World Cup, Gordon Banks, saved. And it was all already, you can check it on YouTube, Gordon Banks saves. <laughs> and it's similar save. It was behind Gordon Banks in those days, and he found a way out. And then Stefan Fry, the ball was behind him. But you know what the comics say afterwards? Come on, Stefan, stop giving away these silly corner kicks. <laughs> I mean, it was a brilliant, brilliant save. And it's, it's, the Stefan Fry story will, will go on forever. He, he, was, he was let go by Toronto to Seattle, so he was going home. Okay, let's go back out to Chris Daniels and Chris Cashman. The parade is underway. Guys, what a scene downtown. That is the owner. That is the owner, Adrian Hanauer, holding the MLS Cup, standing on the front of the wow. Emerald City trolley as they're handing it off back and forth throughout the trolley here. Adrian, we're live on King 5. How does it feel to be in this position today? Feels pretty damn good, I have to admit. To have that cup after... You were a dreamer, a guy who had the lower division team, wanted the MLS here for years. Now you're at the top of the American soccer world. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's awesome. And, I mean, this is what it's all about, all these people out here. I was a fan, you know, when I was eight years old, fell in love with this team, and now to, you know, be part of it and bring joy to a lot of people, that's, uh, that's the key. You're looking at these smiles. I mean, the, the fan base has supported you from day one. Is this the next level? I mean, what do, you, what do you dream about after a day like today? The next championship. That's what we're, uh, you know, tomorrow we'll get to work on and uh, uh, try to get a second star over our, uh, over our badge. All right, we'll let you enjoy the parade. I can tell you, you're smiling from ear to ear, holding that cup. Zach Scott, right next to you. Zach, your last game as a sounder ends with an MLS Cup victory. What's, what's this storybook like for you? Uh, I mean, this is just unbelievable. Um, from the way we turned the season around to just ending on a perfect note. My career, I mean, this is this is all I've ever wanted for this city, for my family to be able to celebrate together. This is fantastic. Some people have called you Mr. Sounder. You're going to see the fans here today. This is like the next level for this franchise, is it not? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I don't think we expected this much support. This is just this is so cool. The city just loves champions. They love a team that can persevere. We definitely showed that this year. All right, Zach Scott, we'll let you enjoy. Congratulations. Thank you. He ends his career with the uh, Sounders.
going into the MLS Cup, knew this would be his last game. He's actually going to stay in Seattle with his family, go into the private sector. You see Chris Cashman and I are walking through all these people that have lined the streets of 4th Avenue for this celebration and celebration and parade. There's Stephen Fry. We got an MVP. The save. Chris, can you grab here. him? Congratulations, how are you feeling? Is this is this actually happening right now? Uh, it must be because I'm cold, so I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative of the fact that it's cold because it's it keeps reminding me that it's not a dream. And how charming is it that you're not wearing gloves because you know everybody wants to see the hand. <laughs> I was just doing my job. As part, that's why I'm here. I'm here to make saves. And everybody brought their A game and they accumulated some history, which is awesome. You get to live your dream playing soccer professionally, but how many times have you dreamed about something like this, where there's a parade and you're being honored? Uh, this is what you dream of as a little kid. I mean, if you're, if you're writing your dream story, this is what you would write. Uh, unfortunately, not too many people get to live out that dream, but uh, we made history and we're, we're really enjoying it now, so it's awesome. Congratulations, the toast of the town, enjoy today. Thank you, appreciate it. Stephen Fry, who had to save the left-hander. He could have been wearing gloves, Chris, but he knows everybody wants to see that left hand. All right, thanks, you guys. Yeah, Stephen Fry, certainly a oh. huge hero. Um, you wanted to mention something. Well, it, they interviewed uh, Zach Scott there, Chris Daniels with yeah. Zach Scott, and it's all about moments in sports, and for me, it doesn't get much better. They, they've won the MLS championship. The confetti is coming down, and then I look on the big stage, and there is Zach Scott with his kids, and they're just taking in the moment. They're dancing in the confetti, and as somebody that's covered sports now for over a couple of decades, it doesn't get much better than that as you sit back and mm -hmm. kind of enjoy the moments, because a lot of times, these athletes, these coaches, they don't get a lot of time to do that, and Zach Scott said, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get on the stage. I'm going to get my family next to me here and they just soaked it in and how cool is this right here scars are up in seattle as they are celebrating another championship chris daniels is with the coach chris take it away buddy yep. we are here with head coach brian schmetzer Thank you. yes we are here with head coach brian schmetzer he got off the trolleys you've been posing for selfies non-stop how are you feeling as a local feel, boy who's like the I, team i to feel do? great i just want to march with the fans i'm a fan i'm a fan of the guys up on those trolleys they're great. Can you describe this season taking over midway, bringing the team out from the bottom, and now at the top of the mountain? All, all, ten years from now, I might really get it. I think it's been a great ride. I'm very happy that the fans stuck with us. Uh, we always knew we had a good team, and they, they put in the hard work, and we were able to win a championship for this city. You know what this team means to this city. You've seen the crowds over the years yeah. since the franchise started in MLS in 2009. To see this turn out today. What it's fantastic. It's fantastic. It's like, you know, I was there in 78, 79 with the Sonics, you know, the Seahawks, obviously it's the NFL, it's the biggest sport in the world. I mean, this is great. A lot of civic pride here in the city of Seattle. So here we are, 2016, you got a star on the banner now. We need a few more. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be just... harder, but we, we're going to try and get a few more. And as you walk these roads, knowing uh, the Sounders franchise, born in 74, Memorial Stadium, that's why the march is going that way. I mean, do you think back that far to the, the original remember, Sounders and the Roots? Yeah, Pepe Fernandez, Dave Gillett, some guys, some, some uh, guys that played in that stadium that I watched when I was an 8, 9, 10-year-old kid. Yeah, I get it. It's great. Great memories. Brian Schmetzer, congratulations. Thanks. Winner of an MLS Cup. We don't want the trolleys to leave without you. And all these people. Walking with the fans anyway. the We're walking with the fans anyway. <laughs> all right. We're walking with the fans. All right. Thank you, Brian. Brian Schmetzer, the head coach of your Seattle Sounders FC MLS Cup winner. And just look at the mob scene here. He got off the trolley to walk with the fans during this parade. It's chaos walking backwards. <laughs> uh, what do you think of this turnout as a fan? I mean, and were you watching the game? Oh, of course. Yeah, the whole game was great. This is even better to be here with all the fans in Seattle. I'm kind of bummed the game wasn't here, but this man's up for it. This is so great. All right, well, yeah. let's keep walking. I see another another guy here with a little guy. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? We got a picture with the coach. We're super excited. Got engaged in uh, Toronto. Was it the game? Oh, super stoked. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks so much. Wow. Memorable in more ways than oh, one. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. I was waiting for the first goal to propose, and it happened at the end. <laughs> so what's this mean to you as a fan of the franchise? It's just a huge, a huge development. I think it's going to, uh, you know, Seattle's always been on the map as far as MLS is concerned, but just having won uh, the Cup is just fantastic. Fantastic.
All right, we'll send it back to you. I tell you what, Mark, it doesn't get much better than that for me. Uh, as a parent of three kids, and you've got two boys, but you see the dad in hand with his son. You see the youngsters behind there with his flags. Alan Hinton has brought his grandson, Mateo, in today. To share these moments, young and old, it's, it's pretty special. These are the days you will not forget. I was there in 1979, the Sonics big parade. I was in studio during the Seahawks championship. I was down there with the Seattle Storm. You don't forget these moments, and this is the great thing. So much bad out there in the world, but to see the streets of Seattle with so much green, so many smiles, so much pride, uh, whether you're a soccer fan or not, this area, the Northwest, is together as one today. It really is. This, you are looking at the statue of Chief Seattle. It's been draped with a scarf representing bringing the MLS Cup home. This is based on something that Real Madrid has done for years. When that team celebrates a great victory like this, they have a huge celebration in their square to honor their supporters and their city. And that is exactly what is happening here in Seattle. We are now surrounded by supporters, fans, some kids who didn't have to go to school today. How psyched are you to be here? Good. Super fun. <laughs> Super fun, right? It's a big deal. And like Chris was saying earlier, it just feels good to feel unified like this. And this really speaks so much to the team, too, that they make their supporters and their fans a fundamental part of the decisions that they make and who they are as players, and it's thrilling. There's Ozzy right there. Let's listen in as the fans uh, welcome Ozzy to the big stage uh, as they get ready to have a fun <laughs> moment here in downtown Seattle. Uh, but what an incredible story Ozzy Alonso is. I mean, don't forget, it was in Miami uh, nine, ten, uh, eight, nine, ten years ago when he was with the Cuban here national go, team, Al. and he, he ran into Let's Walmart enjoy. and asked Let's for enjoy. asylum. Here we go. got a stage set up it's going to be quite the party and in fact uh oh wait the party yeah. continues <laughs> hi what do you what do you think about this big uh, uh, Cup it's victory? pretty awesome <laughs> It's yeah. Great. Yeah. I'm a really big Sounders fan. I got a bunch of signatures. So many. Well, who do you have there? Um, I don't really know which one's which, but I have some <laughs> on my scarf. I got Fry and Marshall and Ozzy and Zach and Brad and Clint and Jordan. So. Any chance you got Fry to sign it with his left hand? You know, they're, they're gonna have to encase that in gold now. I don't know. I'm not really sure. It was a blur. The whole thing. To touch the cup. All right. That was pretty you, awesome. There you go. You got to touch the cup. Look at the crowd that's filled in this bowl. There's a stage set up. A pretty impressive display here from the Sounders FC fan base. Uh, and look as ECS comes in with their banners to fill in the front row. The stage is set. The banners uh, up high here. Quite the scene here at Seattle Center. It's going to be quite the aerial footage from the sky here as you can get uh, some scope and perspective on just how many people are here. Very impressive. All right. Well, we are going to settle in here for what should be a, a fun rally. It's expected to last about an hour. We're going to see that MLS Cup again. We're going to hear the speeches, and we are expecting thousands of people here at Seattle Center. For now, we'll send it back to you. Pretty amazing stuff from the Chris's, Chris Daniels, Chris Cashman. Both of them grew up in the area. You can tell that they're working hard, but they're having a fun time out there right now, Mark. Right? Yeah. And somebody that knows this team pretty well. He's been on the set all year long with Alan Hinton. It's Paul Sylvie. He was interviewing Brian Spencer, I think, back in the 80s, and he's right at the end of the rainbow. So let's head to Paul Sylvie right now. Paul, take it away. Yeah, the Emerald City supporters have just led the pack in, and you're just hearing the first chant of Seattle Sounders. And, Alan, I'm going to let you pan over the crowd and take a look at who was gathered here. Just a couple of hundred early this morning at the break of dawn, and it has just grown 
by uh, an immense amount here. They've been trying to entertain these restless fans, waiting for their champions to come here to Seattle Center, doing all kinds of tricks, game shows, anything you can, playing music to get these guys fired up. And now we've got a massive crowd in here gathering as the team arrives, finally. And these fans are finally getting to see who they've been waiting for. Sounders fans have been outstanding since they came in the league in 2009. They've led the league in attendance. 43,000 was the average this past season. That is 12,000 more than any other squad in Major League Soccer. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> 30 for 30 at least, right? Man, who would have thought we'd be here? We did. We did. We got a resilient group. We, we overcame some things. We, we, we fought back. We, we persevered. Uh, it was unbelievable. Uh, I want to start by saying thank you, obviously, to all of you guys, but also thank you, Joe Roth. Thank you, Adrian Hanauer, for having given me this opportunity. And this team uh, didn't emerge overnight over the last three or four transfer windows. We have guys like Zach Scott, Brad Evans, Chad Marshall that have been here from day one. Roman Torres to win MLS Cup for Seattle, which he has done. The Seattle Sounders have done it. MLS Cup winners in 2016. How about that? All right, you've waited long enough. Let's get the players out here, the coaches, the trophy. James Willard, come on out, introduce this squad. It's my pleasure to introduce head coach Brian. And your captain, number six, Osvaldo. We're all MVPs. Uh. No, I just want to say thank you for all the support. I believe success thrives in a positive environment, and you guys are the cornerstone of that. So this win is for you. Keep doing your thing, and we'll try to keep bringing trophies home for you. We love you. Go Seattle. Ramon Torres, yes, Says, come on, come on. This team deserves to have won the championship. The resolve and the leadership uh, of Brian Smetra and the determination and uh, skill of the players uh, to go win it in a tough environment in, in Toronto, to bring the comeback and see the city of Seattle turn out to celebrate this massive event. This is the first time in 42 years that the Sounders have won what I call the big trophy. We are the champions of America. We are the champions of North America. The respect now, this club, the Sounders, has been getting a lot of respect around the world slowly. The respect around the world now will be even more. So we'll be known more in the world. The crowds will go up. It will be party time every game at the Sounders. Smetzer made a brilliant decision to put uh, Roman Torres in there. And he didn't have a kick of the ball because <laughs> he's so big and so strong. Speaking of, he speaking of him. He intimidates players. He needs to be on the TV on Saturday Night Live and all that because he's a, he's a dancing prince. He never stops. And he's, he's cowboy hat. All right, let's go. Let's go. There's Jordan Morris and Chris's. Take it away, guys.
a, a dream come true for sure. And to see all the support we have, this is why we do it. Um, this is why we were able to do it, is because we have the backing of these fans. So. As the guy who grew up on Mercer Island, who has trained with the Sounders, came up with the club, I mean, it's got to have special meaning, doesn't it? Yeah, of course, of course. Just to be around the Seattle sports scene as a kid, growing up watching the the Seahawks, the, the Sonics, you know, the Mariners. And then when we finally got this club here, I always knew I wanted to come play for them. And to be a part of this first team to bring home a championship is so surreal. So. You, sat, you sat in the stands at one point watching this team. And then to play and to win a cup, I mean, I can only imagine what what was going through your mind. I mean, when, when you're sitting up in the stands, do you dream about a moment like this? Yeah, definitely. I went to the first game, and, and I was like, I want to play on that field. And, um, and when you start playing for them, when I started playing for them, it was always my dream to try and bring a trophy back, help the team, and um, that's what we did. So it was it was awesome. You win at Stanford, you win in Seattle. I mean, it's been a, a heck of a couple of years for you. Yeah, it's it's been crazy. Um, it's been a whirlwind, but two amazing teams that I've been blessed to be a part of. And, and what I remember most about these teams is just my teammates and how you know the camaraderie that we have. How do you top this? Got to get another one. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it for now, but um, next year we'll we'll keep fighting and try and get another one. All right, Jordan Morris, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Jordan Morris, a champion with your uh, MLS Cup champion, Seattle Sounders, as the uh, team. Osvaldo Alonso here as well. Osvaldo, Chris Daniels, King Five. Yeah. How are you feeling right now after all this? You know, great. I have no words to describe this moment. You know, I've been waiting for this moment. You know, I'm very, very, very happy to, to win a championship here with Seattle. An original Sounder to, to have this moment in this city after starting here in 2009. It's got to be special. Yeah, very special. Especially to be the captain, you know, lift the trophy. And, you know, very excited to lift this moment. And you got to lift the trophy multiple times today. Yeah, a lot of us. I'm very excited to do it. I hope uh, we can do it next year. How do you top this? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, Ozzy Alonso, the captain. They call him the honey badger as yeah. well. Thank you. Appreciate it. MLS Cup champion. He's he's lifted that thing several times. The cup's today. just right here. Right it's just there. being passed around. The ultimate selfie opportunity. <laughs> oh, think of the Facebook potential. As the team uh, now comes off signing, uh, Chad Marshall uh, working the rope line, so to speak, here. Uh, the defender. There's the a hug from Ozzy Alonso, shaking hands with some of the members of the media. Uh, you can see the, the cup right there. Lifting it one more time. For the media, Ozzy, he's getting a workout today. Pretty special. Lifting it. Yeah. <laughs> As he's now lifting it again for all the media here. Quite all right, there it is. The celebration winding down at Seattle Center. And we said it as the broadcast began, Alan, that it feels like this club today has come full circle. Well, and the club's on top of the world. And I want to thank the opportunity to work with you two guys because you love soccer and I know you have kids who play. And uh, thank you to King Five for doing this. I mean, it's my longest marathon on a TV program, two and a half hours, but it was not rehearsed. It was just speaking from the heart. And I think that's what the team did this year. They spoke from the heart and they delivered the cup for our great city. And I think that's what you see today from this championship rally is everybody, it's from the heart. You know, yeah. this yeah. is a city coming together. This yes. is the Northwest coming together from Puyallup to Paulsbo, Tacoma, across to Spokane. I mean, everybody is coming to root on one yeah. cause to celebrate this championship. You heard it from Jordan Morris, Chris Daniels, with a great interview. This is something he's been dreaming about since he was a little kid growing up on Mercer. Island to see these players now taking time to sign the autographs of the youngsters, the thousands of kids that will sign up for youth soccer this year, the thousands of kids that will get out there like bumblebees on the field from five years old yeah. all the way up to 18, and whether you're Mark Wright, right, who's got a kid at Gonzaga, yeah. Allen. I mean, yeah. these are the moments, and these inspire kids, and this is just a great day all around. It was so much fun to see. It was just, it was natural. It was pure to see the guys up on the stage dancing, celebrating the crowd. I tell you what, Mark, First class, awesome celebration. Well, from Toronto to Seattle today, good work from the two of you. Alan, it's been such an honor to have you well, here. It's been, and it's for been, the many years a, that you've spent with us. Well, it's been a lot so of fun you. for me, but I think uh, the players now will party for a couple of weeks, guarantee. Yeah. 
And we'll party here, too. There we go. <laughs> we got confetti <laughs> on the show. Confetti. Thank Championship Thank confetti. confetti. Chris, you want to wind us down? Well, I tell you what, Mark. Okay. I mean, it doesn't get much better than today. It was a pleasure sitting next to you. I know you love this sport so much as we take a look at the crowds for everybody out there. Kim Holcomb, St. Bryant. Uh, the Chris's were on fire today. Paul <laughs> Sylvie. And we can't thank enough all the photographers out there working hard. The people behind the scenes here at King 5 making this happen today. It was just a splendid afternoon. It, it felt like five minutes to me, Mark. But you see, Alan says it was two and a half hours. Flew by for me. And as we leave you, the season came down to this. Have a great afternoon.